Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Update. I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, over the years, I've helped a number of older individuals reverse memory loss and dementia problems. Now, one of the nutritional medicine factors that I always include is a natural agent known as Hooperzine A. It was first discovered in a club moss in the mountains of China. Now, over the years, the research to support Hooperzine's Hooperzine A's ability to reverse memory loss, even in Alzheimer's patients, has escalated to the point where it is an approved drug of choice for the treatment of Alzheimer's disease in China. So in China, if you get Alzheimer's disease, very likely they're going to prescribe for you a drug called Hooperzine A. Now, quite conveniently for us, Alzheimer, Hooperzine A is available as a natural supplement in Canada and in the United States, as well as many other countries. So you can buy it over the counter or as part of an overall memory support supplement formulation, which is something that I do. So it's available to us over the counter. A very thorough review of Hooperzine A and Alzheimer's disease was published in the journal Molecules in 2021. The review paper highlights the many ways that Hooperzine A is shown to prevent and treat age-related dementia and Alzheimer's disease. Now, some of the key medicinal actions of Hooperzine A include it inhibits the breakdown of the memory chemical known as acetylcholine. So now you're raising the memory chemical level. This results in higher brain levels of the memory chemical and thus improved memory. In fact, studies show that Hooperzine A performs this task with greater efficacy than the standard prescription drugs that are prescribed for Alzheimer's disease here in North America. Now, experimentally, Hooperzine also inhibits the buildup of beta amyloid plaque and neurofibrillary tangles, which are two other established hallmark features of Alzheimer's disease. You're blocking those steps. It also improves brain cell energy production, so the brain cells have more energy to work with. It provides a host of neuroprotective effects, like increasing brain-derived neurotrophic factor. It reduces free radical damage to brain cells. It increases brain cell antioxidants, like glutathione peroxidase, superoxide dismutase, catalase, these enzymes that the brain cells need to prevent free radicals from damaging the brain. It also reduces mitochondrial damage. The mitochondria is where the nerve cell makes energy. If you, if you keep that intact, the nerve cell can keep making energy to keep itself functioning and alive. Hooperzine A has also been shown to reduce inflammatory chemicals in the brain that are, known to, uh, that are linked to Alzheimer's disease. It also reduces brain cell damage from iron. So high iron levels in the brain are also known to contribute to dementias and Alzheimer's disease. These are just some of the ways that Hooperzine A helps to prevent and treat various dementias and Alzheimer's disease. There are no drugs that can do all those things that I just explained to you. Now, studies on mice that are genetically programmed to develop Alzheimer's disease show that Hooperzine A treatment improves working memory by 68% in these animals compared to the same animals that don't receive the Hooperzine A. Now, as, as reviewed by the researchers, a, a number, quite a number of uh, human clinical trials have shown improved cognition in patients suffering from dementia, both Alzheimer's disease and vascular dementias, when they were administered Hooperzine A orally. Now, these are objective improvements. It's not just somebody thinking that they're getting better, as the benefits from Hooperzine A treatment are apparent when using standard tests for dementia, like the mini mental state exam and other uh, Alzheimer's disease neurocognitive test scores. So you see objective improvement. It's not just some theory. Other studies have shown similar results when providing Alzheimer's disease patients with 200 micrograms per day of Hooperzine A and or doses as high as 400 micrograms twice a day. And patients experienced no significant side effects even at doses of 400 micrograms twice a day, which is a pretty high dose. From a standpoint of prevention, in my view, the evidence suggests that everyone over the age of 50 should take a combination supplement that contains memory support nutrients, including Hooperzine A, with CDP choline, Bacopa monieri, and phosphatidylserine. You put them all together in one formula. These four nutrients work synergistically to help combat age-related memory loss, 
and some of them, including Huperzine A, are shown to block other key steps involved in the development of Alzheimer's disease, as I've outlined in this report. So I've, I've provided a link to the 2021 review paper on Huperzine A and Alzheimer's disease in the text below. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.